So I've been putting this video off for a while because I wanted to use my new toy before I showed you guys. So let me just grab these really quick. Ta-da, look at that. My brand new lens. So today we're going to go over like three or four cool little tips or tricks or just cool little things about this lens that I think you guys need to know. So we'll get started. So the first reason why I bought this lens was because it was a very affordable lens. It didn't break the bank, it didn't cost, I didn't go have to sell the kidney just to buy this piece of glass. It was only $125. So if like for a very first lens that you're looking to buy, I strongly recommend this one because it's not going to break the bank and you can do a whole lot more with it than just your standard kit lens. The second thing is the size of it because like a baseball is about the same size as this and it only comes in at like 4.5, 4.6 ounces. So it's really light and really small, which means you can just throw it in your backpack, jump on an airplane, go fly halfway across the country, and like it's just in the bag, you don't have to worry about it really. But if you had like a big old huge lens, like I don't know, 200 or something, that thing's pretty big and it's kind of hard to travel with that. But this thing just boop in your bag, let's go. Easy as that. The next great thing about this lens is it has such a low s-stop. This thing goes all the way down to 1.8. And it's like, that's really good for low light conditions because it'll open up the lens, let all that light in, so you can still capture the shots. And yes, there are ones that go even better than that. There's a 50 mil lens out there, I believe that goes for like 1200, 1400. And that thing goes down to like 1.2, which is crazy. Like I wanna get my hands on that, but for like, like just a $125 lens, this is amazing because it just drops all the way and you're just like, ah, perfect. Number four is the depth of field. Because it has such a low f-stop, it can go down to like 1.8, a, which creates that blurry background. Like I, this isn't blurry because it's like right there. But anyway, it creates a more blurry background. So your subject or the object you're shooting stands out a lot more, creating a more cinematic type feeling to your image. The next thing is the focal length spectrum. This thing falls right in this, like right about the middle of it. So it's not like a wide and it's not a telephoto. It falls pretty close to like how we see things with like our eyes. It falls really close to that. So the images don't look like distorted or like stretched or pulled at all. They look like normal, like you're just seeing the object yourself. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed watching today's video about the 50 millimeter lens. That's a few reasons why they call it the Nifty 50. Cool little name. I didn't hear about it until I got the lens. Anyway, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let me know down in the description what you want to see more of. I'd love to hear from you guys. And without further ado, we'll see you next Tuesday. Peace.